Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, we're gonna continue our discussion about angle relationships. In the previous video, we learned about our first two, complementary angles and supplementary angles. Let's recap that complementary angles add to 90 degrees, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, let's go ahead and start focusing on our third angle relationship. And that angle relationship that we're gonna focus on are called vertical angles. So let's go ahead and spend some time really understanding what vertical angles are all about. Now, vertical angles are formed when you have two straight lines and they intersect each other. So let's go ahead and call this line here, we'll call this line, line AB, and we'll call this line, line CD, and let's say that they're intersecting here in the middle at point E. So let's go ahead and write this out so we understand what's happening with vertical angles. Okay, I have the line AB. It intersects line CD at point E. Perfect. So now, when we do this, right, we have a line AB, we have a line CD, they're intersecting here in the middle at point E. We actually end up creating four different angles right here in the middle, which I'm color coding all a different color. So what we're gonna look at now is what vertical angles are and why they're special. So let's say that I know what this blue angle equals here. Let's say that we're told that the measure of angle A, E, C, let's say that that angle there equals 23 degrees. Let's say that information was given to us. We now know that this blue angle up here at the top equals 23 degrees. And let's say we want to find out the red angle to the left, which we're calling that angle, angle A, E, D. We want to know what that angle equals. Now, let's take a second and focus in on just the blue and just the red. While we're looking there, I'm gonna highlight those two angles. Do we see that those two angles together, that they are forming an angle relationship that we have already learned? If I zoom out and look at the one right up top, doesn't that look exactly like the supplementary angles that we learned in the last video, right? Two angles which are forming a line. In this case, the blue and the red they form the line CD. So since that's the case, then we know that the blue angle and the red angle add to 180 degrees. So since we know that, then if I wanna find what this red angle is, angle AED, I just have to take 180 degrees, subtract out the 23 degrees. Once I do that, I'm left with what my red angle is, which ends up being 157 degrees. And the reason why that's true is because, I'll write it over here, let's see, is because these two angles here, they are supplementary angles. Okay, because of that fact, we now know that the blue and the red angle add to 180 now I know that this red angle over here is 157 degrees. Now, let's apply that same principle to this green angle on the right. That green angle is called the measure of angle CEB, right? We're tracing this out, CEB. And I think we can do the exact same thing we just did for the red angle. Let's zoom out so we can see our supplementary angle again. Can we see here that the blue angle and the green angle together form the line AB? 
together with those two, I'm forming that straight line. So we can use the same idea that we just used. We know that the blue and the green are gonna add to 180. So let's just repeat that process again. I take 180 degrees. I wanna subtract out the angle that I know. We know that this part's 23 degrees. That means the green is also going to be left with 157 degrees. Okay, we now have solved three of these angles. The last thing we need to do is solve for this bottom angle on the bottom, this orange angle, and I think we can still apply our supplementary angle relationship onto these angles to solve for the orange angle. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna call the orange angle here, angle D, E, B. And now we get to choose what angle we want to add to the orange. You can either add the red to the orange to form the line AB, or you could add the orange to the green line, sorry, the green angle, to form the line CD. Either way that we do this, we're gonna end up with the idea that again, the red, the orange angle is forming a straight line with the red or the green. So since they're the same value, it really doesn't matter. 180 degrees, take away whichever one of those I want. I'll choose the green. That means I'm left with this angle on the bottom equaling 23 degrees. Now let's take a second to zoom in on our diagram for our vertical angles there. And hopefully you're noticing something very important about vertical angles here. Number one, all of the angles in the intersecting lines, they need to add up to 360. You see that I formed a little circle here. And if you were to calculate 23 plus 157 plus 23 plus 157, it would definitely add up to 360. The other piece is that let's look at their positions here. I can see that the top angle is 23, the bottom angle is also 23, and then off to the sides here, I see that the right angle is 157 and the left angle is also 157. So are we seeing that the opposite angles are equal? Okay, the opposite angles are equal. That is what vertical angles are. Okay, vertical angles are equal angles on opposite sides. Whoops, on opposite sides of intersecting lines. I gotta zoom out just a little more. So this will always happen. It will always happen with vertical angles. If you have lines intersecting the opposite angles will always end up being equal. The top and the bottom, the left and the right. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.